Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Once again, I'm at the Rusty Pick, ready to spend some legendary script. However, it is a double script weekend, so my original thought was I will spend 5,000 script instead of my usual 2,500, but there is another wrinkle. The purveyor is actually having a 25% off sale. So at 5,000 script, if I buy legendary weapons at 75 script apiece, that comes out to 66 and two thirds, which obviously doesn't work. So I could either round that up to 67 or down to 66, and those are weird numbers. So what I'm going to do is actually go for 75 legendary scripts. So this will be triple the normal, or 75 ranged weapons rather. So this will be triple the amount I normally do. So we'll be spending 5,625. Uh, I'll go as quick as I can, but this is still going to take a while. So grab a drink and settle in. Let's get things started with something good. A troubleshooter's crossbow, damage while aiming, and weapon breaks slower. Uh, these don't break terribly quickly from my uh, recollection. I haven't used them a ton because they do tend to be kind of buggy in vats. And they are a bit underpowered compared to a bow. Troubleshooters, I'm not interested in enemy specific stuff. And damage while aiming is okay, but I would rather use it in vats. But overall, this is a, this is a nothing for me. Next up, we've got a Mutants, short gamma gun with weapon speed and perception. Well, Mutants is a mid-tier effect, so you get a little bit of extra damage with it. Uh, weapon speed, that's pretty good. If you do this as an automatic, I think their their capacity is really, let's see, the capacity is only eight. So yeah, that's not a very high capacity. So faster speed just means you reload quicker. Uh, perception, I don't think is really that beneficial. Uh, but overall, this isn't something I want to use. Next up, we've got a Mutants, short 10 millimeter submachine gun with extra critical damage and plus one perception. Mutants, again, mid-tier effects, so a little bit of extra damage is nice. I do like my extra critical damage, so that is good as well. Plus one perception should give you more VATS accuracy, although I don't really think one perception is something you will notice. But I do have better options in my stash. Next on the list is a quad alien blaster with 50% critical damage and plus one agility. Uh, that one's kind of interesting. This is not a pistol character, but this is tradable, so I could actually move this to my uh, pistol character. So quad is okay. I think these actually have a decent uh, a decent capacity. Yeah, that shows 168. So these already have actually a decent capacity, whatever that is, 40-something. So uh, I don't necessarily think that you want quad. I think you'd rather have something that gives you extra damage, like uh, two-shot or anti-armor, something like that. But this is still kind of interesting. I do like critical damage, plus one agility. Eh. Not that big of a help, but this is kind of interesting, but I probably won't keep it. I do like the fact that we're getting all kinds of different things, so let's keep that going. A bloody short assault rifle with 50% limb damage and plus one agility. Uh, bloody is okay, this is a full health character, and bloody is okay for a low health character. Limb damage, not really my first choice. Uh, it is good for crippling though. Plus one agility, I'd rather have another another third star with that, like fast, well, not faster reload. These reload really quickly. So maybe extra critical damage or reduced AP cost, but this is a so-so weapon, but I'm not gonna keep it. Yeah, so far we're getting kind of crappy third star effects. So maybe we'll change that right here. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fury salvaged on Saltron on the head uh, with bash damage and damage resist while aiming. Okay, so this is not a fast firing weapon. So Furious would not be something, I, I wouldn't want to use this with Furious. Uh, and bash damage, I'm not, this is not gonna be a choice I would use for bash damage. And damage resist while aiming, uh, that's not an effect I generally like at all on any weapon. So this is uh, trash for me. So we're getting variety, but it's a variety of just different flavors of garbage. Next up, we've got an Aristocrat's Tesla rifle, replenish AP with each kill, and stealth field. Uh, I think chance to generate a stealth field is a completely worthless effect on any weapon under any circumstance. Our replenish AP with each kill is actually an okay effect, and Aristocrats is nice for extra damage. So if you're using this as a semi-automatic, that would work. If you're using it as an automatic, you're just gonna reload too frequently and probably be frustrated with it. So this is a so-so weapon, but it's not for me. Next, we've got a Stalker's Snubnose 44 pistol with damage while aiming and damage resist while reloading. Uh, Stalker's, in theory, is a really good effect. In practice, it's very unpredictable and hard to know under what conditions it's actually working. So I don't I don't care for it at all. Uh, damage while aiming, it's okay if you want to use it that way. I tend to use things in vats, so that wouldn't be useful for me. And damage resist while reloading, unless I'm not wearing armor, that effect really isn't useful at all. Next, we've got a Suppressor's Gamma Gun with damage while aiming and VATS critical charge. Okay, Suppressor's, again, it's just not a very good effect. I, I don't want Suppressor's on any weapon. Uh, it just doesn't last long enough. I mean, that's the thing. It only lasts for five seconds. If it was like a 25 seconds or 20 seconds, maybe it would be something useful, but with such a sh short duration, I just don't care for it. 
Uh, damage while aiming and VAT's critical charge, one is a VAT's effect and one is a non-VAT's effect. So they really don't go together. So for me, this is going to be a throwaway weapon. Next up, we got a Juggernaut's Flamer with extra critical damage and damage resist while reloading. Uh, the problem with pretty much any Flamer is the fact that Holy Fire exists. Holy Fire is just better than anything you're going to get uh, from the, any, any regular Flamer. And so that's kind of turned, unless the flamer is a god roll, it's auto script. And that definitely fits the bill here. Plus, I'm not going to use it in vats. I tend to use flamers outside of vats. I just think they're more of a hip fire kind of thing. So the critical damage isn't going to do anything. Uh, damage resist while reloading. Again, unless I'm not wearing armor, that's not a useful effect. So far, we haven't gotten anything I would be even close to tempted to use. And that trend continues. Furious Gatling Laser. Uh, last round and weapon breaks slower. Okay, well, last round in, in something that holds 500 rounds is completely stupid. Uh, weapon breaks slower. I haven't really used these enough to know how quickly they break. It is a heavy gun, and heavy guns tend to have higher durability, but it's also an energy gun, and those tend to have lower durability. So I'm not actually sure on how good that third star is. And Furious, Furious is actually a decent effect on this because it does have a high fire rate and a low damage. So you'll be hitting things with a lot of shots, and you'll be getting max uh, benefit from that. Uh, but overall, this isn't something for me. Next up, we got another uh, Gatling laser. This time it's Mutant Slayers. So enemy specific, I don't care for. Vats hit chance, this is not a Vats weapon. This is, uh, this is a manual aim or a hip fire weapon. So, and again with the brake slower. So this is another throwaway. All right, next up we've got a bloodied short plasma pistol with extra critical damage and damage resist while aiming. Okay, well, damage resist while aiming is an out of VATS effect, and critical damage is a VATS effect, so those two don't really go together. But the first star is good, uh, extra damage for lower health, which a lot of people play that way, and critical damage is good. So overall, this is a okay weapon, but still not for me. Next up, we've got a Juggernaut's Missile Launcher with limb damage and plus one agility. Okay, with uh, something that's explosive, like a Missile Launcher, you really want two shot, and if it's not two shot, it's probably script. Uh, in this case, I would say it's definitely script. Uh, Juggernauts, it's an okay effect. I don't actually like it just because when you start taking damage, you do less damage. So I'm not really a fan of that. Limb damage is okay, but you're not really looking to cripple things with this. You're looking to kill things, you know, you're looking to kill things. So limb damage isn't something I'm interested in. A plus one agility I don't think is useful on something like this at all. So this is just very heavy script. Next up, we've got an instigating bow with replenish AP with each kill and stealth field. Okay, well, I've already made my uh, feelings about stealth field clear. I think it's useless. Replenish AP with each kill, that's an okay effect. Not really something I'm looking for on a bow. I mean, I don't, AP isn't usually much of a consideration on stuff. You're kind of looking to one shot things. Uh, instigating, that's a good effect on a bow, but for me, this is an, essentially a one star. So not something I want to hold on to. Next up, we've got another Stalkers 44. I think the other one was the Stalkers as well. So yeah, Stalkers not great. Uh, Vats hit chance. Vats hit chance is actually a really good effect for something like this. I like it a lot. And faster reload speed. They don't reload you know that slow, but faster reload speed is still a really good effect. So if that first star was something different, this would be a keeper. But it's Stalkers, so it's not. Next up, we've got an Instigating Broadsider with 25% weapon speed and damage resist while reloading. Uh, instigating, eh. I mean, really with a broadside, you want, you want, uh, two shot. It's another explosive thing. So you actually want two shot on something like this. So instigating, especially since it's going to have an area of effect, instig instigating really isn't something that's, that's good for area of effect weapons. So I wouldn't want that. Weapon speed, I don't really know how useful this is. It is single fire, but you can do a multi-shot canister. I think that'll hold three with that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, so weapon speed... I don't know. These seem like you can just fire as fast as you want anyway. So overall, this is just not something I want. But I want to point out, in all the videos, this is the fifth one of these I've done. I still have not gotten a single handmade or a single fixer. So I don't even care if it's bad. That's that's what I want out of today's video. Just one handmade or one fixer, even if it's awful. Just, just to know that I can get one. So here we go. Uh, that's not it. Berserker's, yeah, Berserker's heavy gun. That's... Uh, Okay, this this could actually be really good if it was on a different weapon. Uh, Berserkers. Uh, Berserkers is a good effect if you're playing that way, up to 50% extra damage with no damage resistance. That hit chance could be a good effect as well, and reduced AP is a good effect as well, except on this weapon. That is, uh, all those effects are completely unsuited for a heavy gun, especially this one. So this will be uh, script. Next up, we've got another Salvage Assaultron head, and this one's also Furious and Bash damage. That's what we had the first one, right? It was Furious, Bash damage, and the third one I don't remember, but... Yeah, so Furious, no good on this. Bash damage, no good on this. Uh, reduced AP cost, I have no idea. AP cost is... Yeah, I don't know. This is not something that I would even use, so this is just trash. 
Next up, we've got an Assassin Single Action Revolver, which, what is it with bash damage today? And 90% reduced weight. Uh, I'm not really looking for reduced weight on revolvers. They're not exactly heavy. Assassins, I guess. I mean, the MP in enemy NPCs in this game that are, hum are human NPCs, they're not exactly tough, so I don't think you need uh, extra, an enemy-specific thing on them, and I wouldn't use this a PvP at all. Uh, unless you're both doing it. If you want to role play with a duel, then maybe. But uh, yeah, bash damage, uh, this is not going to be my choice for a bashing weapon. So overall, this is no good. Next up, another Gatling laser. This one is exterminators because bugs are difficult. Weapon speed and reload speed. Wow, okay. So if that first star was different, this would actually be a pretty good weapon. Uh, weapon speed is good. I mean, anytime you can get faster fire rate on something like this, that is good. Faster reload speed, that's another thing that's good. I mean, it's not huge because they do have a high capacity, so you're not going to be reloading frequently, but the reloads aren't that fast. So faster reload speed is actually a good third star, but you don't really need extra damage against bugs. So bugs and my alerts. So this is a throwaway. Yeah, so far we haven't even had, we haven't even sniffed anything close to good. And okay, two shot grenade launcher. Well, I did say you want two shot with explosive weapons, so that would be the first star that you would want. Uh, damage while aiming, maybe. Uh, I would tend to use this in VATS, but damage while aiming, that could actually be, that could actually be kind of interesting. I've never played around with one of these, uh, so that could actually be kind of interesting. Plus one perception, not gonna be helpful at all. This is effectively a two star. I don't know if it's a great two stars either, but uh, yeah, we start off with the right star. The primary star is what you want, but overall, probably not something I want. So far, this is going very badly. And it is continuing, uh, Executioner. So if I could have the two star on top of this one with these other two effects, that'd actually be really good. But we've got Executioners, uh, extra critical damage and extra critical charge. So the second, third star I would actually like, but Executioners, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Executioners can be a decent effect, but it's, it is situational. So for something like this, if it's not two shot, I don't want it. Next up, we've got a Suppressor's short pump action shotgun with VATS hit chance and reload speed. Okay, so for a shotgun, uh, VATS hit chance is my favorite second star and reload is my favorite third star, especially on the pump action because it reloads one round at a time. So those second and third stars are really good, but Suppressor's just isn't a good effect. So this would be, this could be a keeper with almost any other first star, but with, with the way it is, uh, it's not something I want. So far, it's looking like the purveyor has a sale because they just have a lot of crap they don't want. So I don't want it either, but here we go. A mutant snub nose 44 pistol with bullets explode and vats critical charge. This is actually okay. Uh, mutants is a mid tier effect, so an extra 25% damage. Exploding bullets, then we get a little explosive damage as well and faster critical charge. So overall, this is probably, it, it's, it's not great, but uh, compared to everything else we have, it's the, I think it's probably the best roll we've gotten so far. But on we go. Next up, we've got another Gatling laser. Yeah, Gatling, crappy Gatling lasers are on, on sale here. So we've got troubleshooter, so it's enemy specific, which I'm not interested in. Limb damage, not really interested in that, although that could actually be okay for crippling, I guess. Weapon break slower could be useful, but uh, overall, this is not something I want. Next up, we've got a mutant short Western revolver with last round and weapon break slower. Last round, you know, if last round had an effect where it was 100% chance, then it would be kind of interesting, but even as it is, it's gonna trigger on the last round only 25% of the time. So with something like that, I just I just don't want that on my weapon. Weapon breaks slower, these don't break all that quickly, so that's not that great. Mutants is a mid-tier effect, but overall this is just kind of a throwaway. So far, this is my worst ever trip to the purveyor, I think. And it's not getting better. Berserker's Enclave play, uh, Plasma Pistol with last round and plus one agility. Okay, so Berserkers, if you're playing that way, that's a good effect. Last round, I don't care for pretty much ever. Uh, plus one agility, not really all that useful on a weapon. Uh, not to mention, this is an Enclave Plasma Pistol, and so when you get these as legendary drops, they're always a pistol and they're always unmodded. And the, the mods are available in the game, they're just extremely rare. So to actually mod this out, unless you wanted it like this, uh, to mod it out the way you want is gonna be very time consuming. So I'm kind of glad this isn't a good combination of effects because then it would just be uh, frustration in my stash box. Next up, we've got a Medic's Gauss Shotgun with last round again, and Vat's Critical Charge. Okay, Medic's, I don't think it's that great of an effect. It just is very, it's extremely situational. Last round again, I just don't like it at all. Uh, it could be useful on this, it doesn't have a high capacity, but for the most part, I think it's kind of a trash effect. 
And bonus critical charge, I actually like that. So I think the third star is good, but the rest of it is not. This is also not a shotgunner and these weapons aren't tradable. So even if it was really good, it still probably wouldn't be used. Next up, we've got another, oh geez, okay. Bloodied Gauss shotgun with critical damage and damage resist, resist while reloading. So those first and second stars are actually really good. Uh, I'm not a shotgunner and I'm not low health, so it's not all that useful to me. And uh, yeah, I do have a low health character, but unfortunately I have no way to move this over. So far, this is setting up to be a really long video full of disappointment. Hopefully we can change that at some point. Another suppressors, ugh. Suppressors radium rifle with bash damage and movement speed while aiming. Uh, yeah, if the question is what are three stars I don't wanna see on a weapon, that would be the answer. Uh, radium rifle actually can be pretty good. I actually think they're really fun. Uh, suppressors, don't like that. Bash damage, I don't really wanna bash with this. And movement speed while aiming, I don't find useful at all, so this is trash. Next on the list, uh, Berserker's Hellstorm Missile Launcher. Last round and faster movement speed while aiming. Uh, let's see, this has a capacity of four, so last round is getting closer closer to useful. Uh, but Berserkers, yeah, no. I'm not gonna be doing low health with this kind of, or low damage resist with this kind of weapon. Faster movement speed while aiming, uh, yeah. Plus these aren't that good. A regular missile launcher does so much more damage. These just really aren't that good of weapons. So this is garbage. That's kind of the theme. That should that that's the theme of uh, this video so far today. This is garbage. Next up, we've got a troubleshooter's alien disintegrator with last round. Last round is I can't get rid of that. Damage resist while reloading. Okay, enemy specific. Last round and damage resist while reloading. So these are three worthless stars. So we are moving on. So far, this is shaping up to be the last time I ever visit the purveyor when they're having a sale. Next up, we've got a Nocturnal Pipe Revolver with critical damage and damage resist while reloading. Uh, nocturnal damage, damage buff only half the time, not all that useful. Critical damage I really like, but damage resist while reloading, that's only good if you're not wearing armor. Next up, we've got another Pipe Revolver. This one is Gourmand's, which is better than Nocturnal. It's a 24% buff if you have your food and drink meters full and extra critical damage. So this is a so-so weapon, but it's not something I would use. Breaks slower, these don't break terribly fast, so that's not really a useful third star. Next up, we've got a suppressors laser pistol with critical damage and critical, yeah, we're getting, uh, we're getting suppressors put on things that could actually be pretty decent, but uh, critical damage is good, Evat's critical charge is good, but suppressors is useless. So this this could actually be a, a pretty good laser uh, laser pistol, laser rifle, whatever, but suppressors just ruins it. Next up, we've got Exterminator's Black Powder Blunderbuss with limb damage and 90% reduced weight. It only weighs three, so you don't really need the weight reduction. Limb damage, you know, with something like this, because it uh, fires one round between reloads, you really are looking for kill shots, not cripple shots. So I don't really care for limb damage, I don't think. Extra damage to insects, Mirelurks, not all that useful. So this is script. We are almost, looks like we're almost halfway through and so far I haven't got a single thing I wanna keep. And that hasn't changed. However, we're getting closer. Furious double barrel shotgun with extra critical damage and VAT's critical charge. Okay, so that second and third star are really good. Furious on something like this isn't going to, because you're gonna fire two shots and then reload. Plus you can get splash damage, which if you do that, you get, uh, it resets. It uh, resets the Furious effect. So getting up to that max bonus is gonna be very difficult on a weapon like this. So I don't really, that's not really something I wanna see on shotguns in general, but especially on a weapon like this. But that's too bad. The second and third stars are actually really good. Next up, we've got an Aristocrats Gauss shotgun with limb damage and reduced AP cost. Now with uh, this kind of thing, limb damage could be good because you do look to cripple with shotguns at times. Aristocrats, extra damage up to 50% if you have uh, 29,000 caps, reduced AP cost. So this would actually be a pretty decent uh, Gauss shotgun, but I'm not a shotgunner and it's not tradable. Next up, we've got another 44 pistol. This one is Berserkers uh, with bullets explode and reload speed. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, if you were gonna play like a, a no armor pistol character, uh, this would actually be a pretty good one. Reload speed's a decent effect. It wouldn't necessarily be the one I'd want, uh, like my number one choice, but it's actually a pretty good effect. Bullets explode, obviously extra damage is good, and Berserkers, yeah, so this is actually pretty good. Probably won't be something I use, but it's still pretty good. All right, one more pull on the slot machine and we'll get something amazing. Vampire's bow with Vat's hit chance and plus one perception. Uh, Vat's hit chance is actually really good on bows. I mean, they have really good accuracy, so Vat's hit chance is going to be, uh, you, you won't miss a whole lot. Uh, plus one perception, a little bit of ex extra Vat's help, but not something you'll probably notice. But vampires on something like this, I mean, it's 2% per shot and uh, it doesn't fire very quickly. So vampires is not all that useful on a weapon like this.
Next up, we've got another Gatling Laser. Uh, this one is bloodied with last round and reduced weight. Reduced weight is good, bloodied is good, last round is wasted. Uh, overall, this is not something I want. Next up, we've got a Ghoul Slayer's Combat Rifle with Bash Damage and Faster Reload Speed. You do not need extra help against Ghouls. Uh, bash Damage, eh, I'm not really looking to bash with this, and Reload Speed is fine, but overall, this is a throwaway. Next on the list, we've got a Juggernaut's Gatling Plasma with ga <laughs> Last Round and Reload Speed. See, to me, Last Round should be restricted to... If you've got over a certain number of ammo, you know, a certain amount of ammo capacity, last round should be impossible. I mean, 500 ammo capacity and it has last round. That is so dumb. Reload speed is actually helpful on something like this. It doesn't have the quickest reload. Uh, so that's a decent third star, even though you won't reload all that often. Juggernaut's mid-tier effect, but overall, this is not something that I want. Next up, we've got a nocturnal hunting rifle. Damage while aiming and chance to generate a stealth field. Well, stealth field is a useless effect. Damage at night is only worth, uh, I mean, it's a damage buff half the time, so I don't care for that. Damage while aiming is okay. This is a weapon I actually don't mind that on because it is a good non-vats weapon. But overall, I don't want it. Next on the list, we've got an Exterminator's Harpoon Gun with extra critical damage and vats critical charge. Uh, second, second and third stars are good. Exterminator's, I mean, it actually fits with the weapon. I mean, if you're going to hunt uh, sea creatures like Mirelurks, uh, this is the weapon that you'd bring. Uh, but overall, this isn't something I want. Just hunting for one thing, one thing that I want at this point. And, oh, okay, this is kind of interesting. Uh, Anti-armor single action revolver with VAT's hit chance and 90% reduced weight. Okay, so it only weighs four. You don't really need 90% reduced weight on that. Uh, VAT's hit chance is pretty good on this. I actually like that effect. Armor penetration or anti-armor, that's actually really good. The problem with single action revolvers is they are kind of the low, for me, they're kind of like the bottom of the barrel in terms of revolvers just because they don't, Considering how painful the reload is, because you reload one bullet at a time, uh, you're not you're not uh, rewarded with higher damage. I mean, other revolvers actually do more damage than this, so they're really not that good of a weapon. But it's a decent combination of effects. But still, no handmade, no fixer. I think I'm just cursed. I can't get those weapons for some reason. We've got a vampire's 10 millimeter submachine gun, replenish AP with each kill, and faster movement speed while aiming. Uh, vampires could be good on this. They do have a really high fire rate, so Vampires is actually a good effect for this. Replenish AP with each kill. That could be useful. Uh, they do have a high AP cost, so if you're using an Vats, having uh, AP replenish every time you kill something could be useful. Movement speed while aiming, for me, that's not a useful effect at all. So this is basically a two-star. It's an okay two-star, but not great. Next up, we've got a Zealot's laser pistol with crit critical damage and damage resist while aiming. Enemy specific, not useful. Critical damage is good. Damage resist while aiming, not useful at all. So this is Scrip. I'm starting to ask, are we there yet at this point? Jeez. Uh, Gourmand's missile launcher with replenish AP with each kill and weapon breaks slower. Gourmand's is a mid-tier effect, but it's a missile launcher and it's not two shots. So we are not interested in it. I'm just looking right behind her. There's a fixer right there. I see a fixer on the uh, right below the light back there. So give me that fixer. I don't know what it is. I don't even care if it's bad. That's what I want. Give me that fixer. That's not a fixer. Gormon's missile Hellstorm missile launcher with bash damage and reload speed. Uh, it's not two shot and it's explosive, so it's trash. It's pretty much going to be my standard answer. If it's, uh, if it's an explosive weapon, a natively explosive weapon, it's not two shot. I don't want it. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Juggernaut's the Dragon with Vats hit chance and reload speed. Wow. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Uh, Juggernauts is only a mid-tier effect, so it's not my favorite, but it is a bonus, you know, it is 25% bonus damage. Critical chance is actually, or a, not critical chance, chance to hit a target in VATS is actually really good for something like this. The reloads are really slow, so, and you will be reloading after every shot, so you want to make every shot count. So, uh, VATS hit chance is actually a really good second star for something like this. And like I mentioned, the reloads are really slow, so reload speed is the best third star on something like this. In fact, I'd argue that if it's not reload speed, you probably don't want it. So this is actually really interesting. This is one of the best, uh, definitely one of the best things we've gotten so far. Next up, we've got a Mutant's laser pistol with weapon speed and perception. Okay, Mutant's is extra, extra damage, weapon speed, faster. These already have a really high fire rate if you modify them as an automatic, so you don't really need the weapon speed, but you can, you can still make use of it. Plus one perception, a little bit of extra help in VATS uh, is uh, not something you're going to notice, but it is a little bit. And overall, this is not something I want, but it's it's okay. It's so-so. The problem is with all the trash I keep getting, my standards are just getting lower and lower. Troubleshooter's compound bow, and it's because of things like this. Replenish AP with each kill and stealth field. Stealth field is useless. 
Uh, I don't really want enemy specific effects and replenish AP with each kill could be good. I'm not really, I'm not really excited about it on this weapon though. So this goes away. We still have quite a ways to go. Uh, this is not helpful. Instigating single action revolver, damage while aiming and plus one agility. So damage while aiming, yeah, I don't know. Uh, instigating on something like this, I don't think the damage is high enough that instigating is gonna be super useful. So that's not really what I would like on this. I'd rather have anti-armor, you know, something that's gonna give me higher damage, like anti-armor or aristocrat, something like that. So overall, I'm not going to hold on to this. Next up, we've got uh, Ghoul Slayer's Pipe Revolver with bash damage, damage resist while aiming, uh, damage against ghouls, you don't really need the help. I'm not gonna be bashing with this, and that third star is not helpful at all, so this is trash. Next up, we've got another Ultrasight, oh, Ultrasight Gatling Laser. Okay, so this is the better version of a Gatling Laser, but it is enemy specific, so that's not great. Replenish AP with each kill, probably not something you want with this, unless you're running dodgy, I guess. Uh, damage resist while reloading. You're probably wearing power armor on this, so you're not gonna notice that extra resistance. So overall, this is trash. If you're wondering if I'm frustrated with this so far, the answer would be yes. We've got, oh darn, <laughs> darn. Okay, so the worst, the worst one-two combination, quad and last round. Oh, that's horrible. So it started out good, quad railway wife, rifle, and then, uh, oh, and then it went to hell. Last round, and I mean, plus one perception's fine. You really don't care that much about the third star in a railway rifle. It's the, it's the first two. So last round, jeez, yeah, this. Almost any other second star, even limb damage would be better than that. Last round with something that's quad is just, it's just terrible. So this could be really good, unfortunately. I mean, it's still, it's a railway rifle. And even if it wasn't legendary, it would still be good. Uh, so <laughs> this would be, if you were desperate for a railway rifle and you didn't have one at all, this would be fine. Other than that, it's script. Next up, we've got another bow, Juggernauts, with damage while aiming and plus one perception. Well, if you've ever tried using a bow out of ATS, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's it's definitely a way to make the game challenging. I won't do that. So damage while aiming isn't very useful. And plus one perception, eh, it's fine. But overall, this isn't something I want. Next on the list, we have a bloodied combat rifle with limb damage and resistance while reloading. That third star isn't useful unless you have no armor. Uh, bloodied is fine, the rest of it isn't. So overall, this is a throwaway. Next up, we've got a quad single action revolver with critical damage and damage resist while reloading. Okay. Uh, this is probably one of the stupidest weapons to have quad on, just because uh, you reload one bullet at a time. So if you make if you make the most use of quad, which you know that's why you have it, so I can keep firing as long as possible. By the time you're done firing, you are going to have a very long wait ahead of you while this thing reloads. Uh, critical damage is a good second shot, uh, good second star. Damage re resists while reloading. Actually, if you're not playing with armor on something like this, like if you want to play uh, a berserker character. The reloads are really long, so while you're reloading, you get that extra 250 damage resist. That could actually be a really good combination, but you would have to come up with a very specific build, a very specific situation to make this weapon useful. I think the light at the end of the tunnel is a train. Anti-armor pipe bolt action with extra critical damage and plus one perception. Uh, I do like pipe bolt actions. I think they're kind of fun. Plus, they do double dip. You can uh, They'll benefit from both pistol and rifle perks if you have a rifle stock on them. Uh, Anti-armor is actually a good star. It's probably the, the star I'd want the most on this because they don't have the option of an armor penetrating magazine like a perforating, whatever. They just don't have that option. So getting extra armor penetration is good. Critical damage is good. Plus one perception, teeny tiny, eats eensy weensy bit of vast accuracy. So this is okay if you like these kind of weapons, and I do. Next on the list, we have an Aristocrat's Cryolator with extra critical damage and weapon breaks slower. This is actually a pretty good roll. Uh, in using the Cryolator, what I've noticed is they break really quickly. Even with max rank of Gunsmith, they break really quickly. So that third star is actually really good. Uh, Aristocrats, one of my favorite effects. 50% uh, critical damage is good if you're using it in VAT. So this is actually an interesting weapon. It's okay. I don't know if I'll keep it or not, but it's okay. Next up, we've got another worthless Hellstorm Missile Launcher. It is not two shots, so I'm not going to say anything else about it. We'll just move on. Here we go for the next one, a Junkies Tesla Rifle with uh, VATS, Hit Chance, and hmm, reduced AP cost. Uh, if you are a Junkies build and you are playing with, a, if you're using semi-automatic like a Rifleman, this is actually really good. Uh, VATS, Hit Chance is good and reduced AP. These have a really high AP cost, so reduced action point cost is good. And yeah, if you're playing, this is actually a really good Junkies roll. I'm not Junkies, however, but I probably will I'll probably hold on to this just in case. Okay, by my count, we are down to the final 10, and it can't come quick enough, honestly. Here we go. 
Uh, Medic's Ultra Sight Gatling Laser with Bash Damage and plus one Perception. Medic's is a VAT's effect. This is not a VAT's weapon. Uh, I think that's all we need to say about it. Next, we've got a Mutant Slayer's Pipe Pistol. Uh, let's see, damage to Super Mutants, last round, and reload speed. Uh, reload speed, it's an effect that I really like. Other than that, enemy specific and last round, not something I care about. I think she's all out of handmaids and fixers. I think that's what happened. She just ran out completely or gave them to other people. I don't know. Anti-armor <laughs> pipe bolt action pistol. Replenish AP with each kill and faster reload speed. This one's actually okay. Uh, they don't reload. They're, it's not like a super slow reload, but it's not fast either. So faster reload speed is actually on this particular weapon, that that would be the uh, that would be the star that I would want. Anti armor, that would be the star I'd want on the first thing. Uh, replenish AP with each kill. That's okay. So overall, this is an okay weapon. I don't know that I'll use it, but it's okay. If this was an actual casino, I'd be like that guy at the slot machine thing, and I just got to. I'm due. I'm due. I'm due. It's got to pay out eventually, and I would be so wrong. Uh, this is a Hellstorm missile launcher, and it's not two shot, so it is scrip. I've got so many Hellstorm missile launchers too. Oh, that's terrible. Next on the list, we've got a Mutant's Tesla Rifle with extra critical damage and plus one agility. Uh, it's okay. I mean, if you're going to use this as a single shot, Mutant's, a little bit of extra damage. I mean, it's a mid-tier effect. Critical damage is good. Plus one agility, teeny tiny bit of uh, extra AP. But overall, this is uh, probably a throwaway. Next up, we've got uh, Junkie's Plasma Pistol, uh, damage while aiming and movement speed while aiming. Well, the best thing I could say about this is that the second and third stars go together. Other than that, they're not second and third stars that I want, though. So this is a skip. Next up, we've got a instigating black powder pistol with Vats hit chance and reload speed. Oh, wow. Okay. This is actually really good. Uh, instigating, you can see, uh, this is not a pistol character. So I have no, because that instigating effect is a, is a it takes the bonus damage. So it's 100% of the bonus, or the, not the bonus damage, the base damage. And you can see the base damage on this is 201. I have no... Well, no, that's not true. I do have Bloody Mess. So I'm getting a little boost from Bloody Mess, but I basically have no perks that would increase the damage on this. So instigating, this is going to one-shot most things. And with Vat's hit chance, that's actually really good for something like this because you do reload after every shot. So you want to make every shot count as much as possible. Faster reload speed, these reload after every shot, and they have a slow reload. So reload speed is the best third star. Pretty much the only third star I want on something like this. So this is actually really good. Uh, this actually might be the best thing I've gotten so far. Next up, we've got, uh, what? Executioner's Gauss Rifle, last round, and reload speed. Well, reload speed is good on something like this. They do uh, they do have a fairly low ammo capacity, and the reloads aren't, aren't super fast. So that's actually a good third star. Executioner's, it's an okay effect. It's, it's very situational. I don't love it. Last round, I think, is completely useless. So overall, this is probably not something I would keep. Looks like we are down to the final two. Berserker's Assault Rifle with Vats Hit Chance and Reload Speed. Okay, so if you are going to be uh, low or low damage resist, rather, if you're playing Berserker, that's a good that's a good star for you. Vats Hit Chance is actually a good effect, and Reload Speed is good, too. You don't really don't need something that reduces AP on these. Uh, they do have a relo uh, really low AP cost anyway. Once you modify them, I mean, that shows 32, but you can get that AP cost down really low. So this is actually a pretty decent weapon for a Berserker. And the very last, thankfully, the very last roll. Jeez, let's just let this end. Instigating Alien Blaster with critical damage and damage resist while aiming. Uh, these don't really have a high... You can see the base damage is 37. So instigating on top of that is not all that useful. Critical damage is a good effect. But uh, overall, this is just not a good... This is not a good weapon. So there's a lot to sort through, but what do we get that's kind of interesting? I actually think this one's kind of interesting. If you were playing Junkies and you were playing a Rifleman, I think this is actually a really good Tesla rifle. So this is one that I think is actually kind of interesting. I'll probably save it in case I ever do a Junkies build. This one I don't know about. Uh, I, th I always think of these as kind of a VATS weapon that I would use, but uh, the two-shot makes this kind of interesting. I'm not... I'm not sure it's that great, but I think I'll play around with it just to see. So this is one I want to test. Uh, probably just play around with, try an enemy or two, see what it's like. It's probably a throwaway, but this one has me curious. Now, this one's actually a really good, this dragon is actually a really good combination of effects. The worst thing about it is the fact that I do have a couple of legacy dragons that are actually better. They do more damage and they have a better primary star, but still this is one I will want to keep because it is really good. And I think, honestly, for uh, all the ones that we got, I would say this is probably the best one that I have. This this combination of effects. This Black Powder Pistol, instigating, just because that first, uh, just because the base damage is so high, instigating should hit really hard. And with Vat's hit chance, 
we're probably not going to miss a whole lot. And that faster reload speed is just going to help us as well. So I would say overall, this is going to be the, the best one out of everything that I got. But overall, I'd say this was pretty disappointing. I mean, there's just uh, quite a few weapons that are just completely absent from the pool for me uh, when I come to the purveyor. So I don't know what's up with that other than uh, really bad luck. But hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below. And I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.